Welcome to Daily Nuggets of Inspiration. And I must admit, I've been missing for, you know, more than five days. It's going on five days. Oh my goodness, listen. But still, it is so important to stay focused. So I'm grateful and thankful to be in your company once again. Listen, wherever you are tuning in, watching this video, a warm welcome to you right where you are. A special shout out to all of those of you who have subscribed to this channel. God ever bless you. I appreciate you there. And for those of you who are viewing for the very first time, yes, I welcome you, each of you, and, and I ask of you to please like and subscribe. Share the broadcast with someone today. Yes, there is a, a nugget for today. However, this nugget may be a little longer today because I'm taking this from my book today. Yes, Your Marriage Again, Restoring the Tone of Bed. Yes, I'm just going to, going to highlight um, some very important pointers to, to help you in your marriage and to those of you who are contemplating marriage. Let's pray though. Father in heaven, in the name of Jesus, bless this viewing audience right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, my Father, divinely intervene for each one today. And I pray that, Father, that you would strengthen the bond of those who are married already and that you would be the super glue that keep husbands and wives together and father may someone be encouraged strengthened today and be focused by what is said in the broadcast in jesus name amen amen and amen listen i'm going to to put on these readers to help me to see better. Yes, the topic today is who or what are you romancing? And I'm just going to read a highlight from this chapter. I'm just taking some highlights here. A young man had just gotten his new set of wheels, a car. He was so excited. It seems as if he was on cloud nine so to speak. Now listen, several times throughout the day, this young man would polish the car and shine the tires. He did not want any dust or dirt to land on his car. He carefully made sure there were no marks on the magnificent paint job. No one was even allowed to go near his car. You know what? This young man took steps to protect his fine car from the elements of the sun and the rain. Eating his car, eating anything in his car was out of the question. He kept it immaculately clean. The stopping thing is, this young man spent most of his time cleaning, polishing, and waxing his car making sure he could see himself in it. Little did this young man realize that he was really romancing the car, a thing in your weeks, so to speak. He spent hardly any time with his wife. Wife? Oh yes, he had completely forgotten all about his wife. And then I want to ask you the question, and I'm saying you, but it's to me first. The question then to both husbands and wives. The question is, who or what, who or what are you romancing? Take inventory, who or what, and where are you spending your time? Take an inventory. Take heed, you could, be romancing the who and romancing the what. Yes. 
the young man with his new car. Take note of how he polished it until he could see himself as if he was looking in a mirror. He neglected his wife while doing this. Yes, he neglected his wife while doing this. He was from romancing a thing, his car. Husbands and wives, have we allowed our hearts to go cold to each other? Have we allowed a person or a particular thing or things to stop the romance in our marriage? Think about it. And that is the nugget for today. Who or what are you romancing? And listen, um, there is a nugget somewhere in this book here. Yes, there's a nugget at the back of the book. For who or what are you, you romancing? And listen to this nugget. Who or what has gotten your individual attention? Is it your car? Or is it your possessions? It should be none of the above. Or even could it be something that's not being mentioned? Listen, husbands and wives, you should have each other's individual attention at all times. Make it a priority to romance each other. And at the same time, make sure you put Yahweh, the God who has redeemed us, make sure put him first in all of your endeavors. Then ensure that you take inventory. You will hear the question resounding, who or what are you romancing? And I leave with you this scripture from Colossians 3 and 19. Husbands, love your wives and do not be bitter toward them. Wives, honor and respect your husband. Listen, God bless you right where you are. I'm taking all my nuggets and you take yours. And until next time, God bless you. Let Jesus be the super glue in your marriage.